<laughs> Sometimes it seems hard to find a good quad with 4 inch props. Well this is the Tyrant 180 and this is probably one of the best 4 inch quads that I've flown and I flew it a lot and it's actually in a few videos and a few races except for I burned up the motor in a crash and I haven't replaced it yet. But this is a 4 inch quad and I ended up moving on to 5 inch because the 5 inch quads were about the same weight but they had 5 inch propellers so they ran a little faster. Well, so the biggest problem with a 4-inch quad is getting one that has a light frame to it that is still durable enough that it can fly fast. Well, anyway, today I'm looking at this Aero 3mm carbon fiber frame. Now, this is made by Kinetic Aerial, and I got this in the mail the other day, and it looks, came in, the, came in like this, and got a root, hashtag Kinetic Aerial underscore FPV. So, and he drew a little picture on it. It says, thank you. So today we're gonna take a look at this one. And this frame, like I said, this is designed, I don't think there's a whole lot of pieces in here. Nope, there's not. This frame is designed to be light. And when you look at this thing, you can see already that it is extremely small, especially compared to something like this. Now, small not meaning uh, small in size, but more like small in amount of carbon fiber, and probably gonna be real light too. Let me get this thing taken apart and we'll take a little closer look at it. So here are all the components laid out of what it comes with. Of course it comes with the main plate and the upper plate. It also comes with four spacers to help hold the two plates apart. Has screws for that, some of this little foam stuff which I imagine is for some kind of mounting of something, I'm not sure. Uh, battery strap. Then it comes with a 3D printed uh, camera holder and this is for an HS 1177 style camera. And it goes right up in the front of the quad like this and then your camera sits out on the um, mounts onto these little side posts. Then it also comes with some of these TPU motor mounts, and these are for soft mounting your motors. This is the first time I've ever seen a quad that actually came with these included. And the advantage of soft mounting your motors is that you get to eliminate a little bit of vibration from the motors down into the frame, which makes the flight controller, you know, the gyros in the flight controller uh, respond a little better and measure a little better what's actually going on. So it's kind of cool they included the uh, mounts there. Let's get some measurements off of this, and I got this thing zeroed out, yeah. So this main plate here that I got is, it's a three millimeter version, comes at 2.8 there, 2.89, 2.9. Out here on the end, it comes in about 2.8, checks the other arms, 2.8 millimeters, and 2.8 millimeters, 2.91 millimeters. So it's a three millimeter version, and if you're worried about breaking a three millimeter version, it's also available in the four millimeter version. And this top plate, I believe it's two millimeters thick. Let me get a measurement on it real quick. Yeah, it's two millimeters thick on this top plate. These little, these spacers are a little bit shorter than other ones that I've seen, and I think that's just because they're trying to eliminate as much weight as they can. These are actually 25 millimeter spacers. So these things are itty bitty little things. Here I have three of the spacers on here. Now one thing I noticed on this is when you go to put these in, these screws in, they don't push down through the carbon fiber. Well I guess if you give it a hard enough push, it will. It pushes down through the carbon fiber and one thing that's nice about that is that you know the screw is in here tight. So it's not going to have any chance to really wobble around. Even if it becomes loose, it's not going to wobble around. And that's one thing that happened on a couple of my other quads especially the stretched X's where they're kind of bolted on, if the screws come loose, the arm starts to shake a little bit and that allows more vibrations to get up to the flight controller. Now, however, with this thing here, with the screw pushing through like this, that shouldn't uh, vibrate at all. Even if, the, um, even if the screw comes loose, it'll still hold its position in there real well and hopefully eliminate vibrations. Vibrations are the enemy of your flight controller. So here's what the aero frame looks like when it's fully assembled. The HS1177 mount kind of mounts up here. You might have to slide this up a little bit to make the camera fit uh, with this little piece of carbon fiber here, but it can slide up and then it has um, hole spacing on here. If I can pull these out of the way a little bit. Has hole spacing for a full size flight board, which is where you use this outer side hole or you use this inner side hole here for a 30 by 30 flight board where it's a little bit smaller. And uh, a lot of more, we're gonna see, start seeing a lot more frames come with these smaller size holes for flight boards, just because the flight boards are getting smaller and the components are getting better, and they can put it all in a tighter space. The downside of the smaller flight boards is they generally don't uh, carry as many amps as the larger ones. But, speaking of amps, 
On a quad like this, we're gonna, I'm gonna be using a 20 amp ESC. It's a four in one Racer Star one. And I'm also going to be using these uh, 1407 motors. These are actually recommended by the developers of the um, frame. And they, these motors are actually pretty small. Now these are 1407s, and these uh, are going to be running at uh, off of 4S batteries. And I'm going to be using some 4-inch props. Now there's a couple different options I, tr I was thinking about. One of them was these dowel props, 40 by 40, but uh, the, these props are awful wide on here, and so I think it's going to create a lot of um, float. So when I slow the props down. The props are just so big that they're not going to, you know, let the air pass by them very easily. So I also have a pair of these dowel props. They're 40-45s, but they're only three blade. And you can see they're also a lot more narrow than the um, blue ones here. So I think these are the ones I'm going to try to start with and see how they go. And I think the 45 should be okay in the because they're four inch props. I think this should be okay with these motors. If not, we'll find out later. But let me get this thing uh, weighed up here. Got the scale turned on. I'll go ahead and zoom this in a little bit so we can see a little better. And here's the quadcopter. Let me toss on these motor mounts on top of this so we can get them all together. And if you look at this frame, this is unbelievable. It's 40, 41 grams. Uh, that is extremely light for a quad like this, especially when I get it all assembled and put together. I'll compare it to my uh, to my Tyrant 180, and you'll see just how light it really is. 41 gram frame is a really good size of frame, and it should be plenty fast with the four inch props and those uh, 1407 motors. Here I centered the uh, ruler here on the left motor, and I'll run it over here. Comes up, comes up to be about 109. 100 and, yeah, 109 millimeters across from left uh, left to right, and from front to back. If I measure this, it comes in about 144 144 millimeters, and if I measure it from motor to motor diagonally, it comes out to be right at yeah right at 180. So you're getting a 180 size quadcopter. That's pretty cool. 180 is kind of the standard size for six inch or for four inch props. If you go much smaller, then your body starts getting tighter and tighter. So I'm actually kind of surprised that this can run six inch props on the stretch X frame. I like it. The whole pattern here on these arms are about 12 millimeters by 12 millimeters, which is the same size that these 1407 motors uh, use on their whole patterns. So these should fit on here just fine, and you can see they actually look pretty good. So they, I'm going to be using 1407 motors on this frame. Now you can't use something like 2300. They're, most 2300s aren't going to be fast enough to get enough lift out of these props, especially with their extra weight that they carry. But 1407 should be good. And if you compare it to something like this iX5 that I'm working on, you can see here the whole pattern is a lot larger on the um, 2200 size motors. And these are the white uh, E-Max motors. They're the new 2700 motors that I'm putting onto this frame. Anyway, <laughs> but this one here, I'm putting on some 1407 motors and I'm hoping that this thing will just be awesome. Now, one of my friends has one of these built already and I flew his and that's the reason I ended up getting this one because the thing is just like so fast on for us that I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it because <laughs> these 1407 motors are just insane with this size of quad and four inch props. So here's Kinect Ariel's aero frame sitting next to the Tyrant 180. Now you can tell immediately that this has more of an H shape to it, or this one is more of a stretch dex. And it really is a stretch dex, it's not an X, it's not anything on your screen. <laughs> it is stretched. Stretch dex is kind of the way a lot of people are kind of moving nowadays, just because the pitch axis being a little bit longer gives you more accuracy on your flying and, you know, your uh, flying leaning forward and going. And the one the nice thing about these uh, Stretch X frames is it pushes the, the motors a little bit further apart so as it leans forward both motors are hopefully pulling through clean air instead of having the rear motors kind of pull through some of the uh, front motors air like they would in a normal X. I have a four inch prop here and if I center it over this motor hole you can see that it spins past the frame pretty much with zero issues at all which is excellent. Also, up here in the front, if I put it over the center hole and I spin this prop, it spins past everything just fine. And because this is a stretch deck, it's going to have no problem not hitting the back propeller at all, which is nice because you don't want your motor, your propellers tapping together. So here's the motor, here's the prop back here, and, it, and if you can see here, it kind of it does not go past the uh, center of the quad 
which means that your side to side props shouldn't be touching either and you should be fine. Anyway, I know they don't I know they don't touch because like I said I flew one of these already. Anyway, these spacers come in green and they also are available in blue. Now, if you don't ask, I think you're going to get the green because I mean, who would want a blue arrow when you can have a green arrow? The green arrow. <laughs> Okay, anyway, this is a Kinetic Aerial's arrow frame, and this is designed for 6-inch props. This is a 3mm version, also available in a 4mm version. If you have any questions about this, you can email the Kinetic Aerial's uh, helpline, and they will help you answer any questions. If you have any questions for me about this frame, you can leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.